In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite little play setups that you can use to attack the Mike Blitz 3 meta defense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they could possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And again, it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on my channel. Now, like I said in this video, we're talking about how you can attack the Mike Blitz 3 defense, the meta Mabel coverage, the 5, 25, and 5 that gives everybody trouble in this game. And we're going to be talking and focusing in on a route combination that you can use from this play right here, doubles in sale. It's one of the most underrated plays for attacking zone coverage. We're going to share with you exactly why in this video. We're going to go over some different types of setups and adjustments that you can make. Um, but this is a very, very powerful defense or, or, or uh, route combo. So doubles in sale, and I'm running the trip side in. If you want to, um, if you want to get my entire trip side in offensive guide, you can get that in the description of this video uh, for just ten bucks down below. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number's at the top right hand corner of your screen. Okay, so Mike Blitz three, and it's very likely that they're going to drop. They're going to do something, something to this effect right here. And they're gonna typically user kind of like right in here with their user okay and so how we're gonna set this up is we're actually going to run a very very simple little route combination but one of my favorites in the entire game so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the circle receiver on a smart routed uh, as you can see we're just gonna smart route him um, I recommend doing that adjustment first because when you smart route it does actually uh, help a ton it's really really smooth and really really simple now the next thing that I like to do uh, for, for this specific play setup is I like to take the tight end and put him on a drag route Just a simple little underneath crossing route just like so I'm gonna take the triangle receiver on this play and I'm gonna put him on a streak And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the square receiver on a motion over curl So I'm gonna put him on a curl and I'm gonna motion over and the idea here is you want to snap him at the numbers Now if they drop back just like that this becomes gun bunch in essence if you see the linebacker on the right side of the field drift meaning he drops back, you are throwing the ball hot, hot read to the right. So if the linebacker on the right blitzes, or if the linebacker on the right, um, or if the linebacker on the right just kind of drifts out of the out of the out of the play, this read right here is super simple but super effective. And you're gonna get almost an automatic five to ten yards. If you have Derrick Henry and Mutt, you can just instantly truck up field as soon as you catch the ball and you're going to have a lot of fun with this concept let me show you really quickly so if they really load up to stop this they may even put their user over here i just want you to see kind of what you're getting yourself into if you throw this so this is a heavy heavy um over commitment to trying to stop this without doing um, a couple of necessary adjustments so if you just watch how this works this drag is going to pull the yellow and then as you can see here you're just going to be able to quickly truck up field so if the linebacker drifts off the line of scrimmage then you're throwing this ball. Let me show you another example. Uh, we're gonna show you now cover two man. And um, what we're gonna do is I just want you to see how this works. So with cover two man, uh, at least the way that it works from this specific setup, you're gonna see if you watch this linebacker when you motion across, this linebacker is gonna be in man coverage. If you throw this ball, you see that you get this little uh, natural man switch that's gonna occur. What's going to happen most of the time, if someone is running man coverage from this formation, what you're going to see, I almost guarantee it, is they're going to do something like this. They're going to have their user kind of right in here, and then they're going to do that adjustment right there. I can almost bet you money that this is kind of the meta, the meta man defense against trips. This is how most people would defend trips tight end. So I want you to watch what happens whenever we run this very simple little motion snap. So if you watch how it works, I just want you to watch the running back on this play. And again, we're just reading that linebacker, linebacker drifted. And as you can see right there, they can jump it. So I just want you to understand that if there's a person sitting there, don't throw it. Meaning if they're sitting, if it looks like a man coverage, that route won't beat man, okay? What it will beat is it will, it will basically cause a switch glitch. So let's say for example, they don't wanna do that. Maybe they wanna do something like this and they're gonna kinda use her over here. So you really have to watch. If they shift this direction and they're showing man coverage, typically that running back's probably gonna get covered by the defensive lineman. 
But if they shift it in this direction and they do something like this right here, which is very popular for people to do, again, strips tied in, that specific type of uh, little pre-snap look. If you watch how this play plays out, we're going to get a nice little mismatch. You see right here, we're going to get this nice little mismatch. But as you can see, it's, it's kind of a natural man switch. So my general rule of thumb is if it's man coverage, I just don't throw it. Um, and then I also wanted to show you uh, what it looked like if they're, what it's going to look like if they blitz you. So uh, if, you, if that linebacker on the right side of the screen, if, he's, if he comes in on a hot blitz, and again, you see how this motion over really pulls this, this corner out of the way, really forms, kind of forces a little isolation. If he blitzes, this is a really, really good play against a blitz. Like really, really, really good. Um, they're really going to have to sit on this with their user. And I'm not saying that they won't. But if they start to, if you, if you notice that they start to kind of sit over in this area right here, that's what opens up. Then we can simply go to, I mean, really anything, but basic, I mean, very simple route combos off of this. So uh, let's say they do something like that right there. Then we can basically do something like this. Whenever we motion over the square receiver, if you watch, I just want you to kind of watch where everything goes and ends up. So you see that that slot defender is going to kind of, kind of move over the top here. So if you see this movement here, this typically will mean that this circle receiver is going to get wide open because of that. If they're, if they're user home or the running back, they're not going to want to defend over on the right side or on the left side. Okay, so that's that. Um, now I want to specifically um, talk about why this motion is so good, specifically against like a meta Mabel coverage. So what happens in Mabel coverage is if you can get, basically if you can get the corner route the, the hard flat zone, if you can get that hard, like the, the, the 25 yard cloud flat, which you'll notice is on this, this slot corner, okay? If you can get him to the inside on these corner routes, it's really gonna do a lot of damage. So what I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. And we're just gonna use a very simple little route combo, but I just want you to watch the circle receiver. And if you watch, you see here, he's gonna get this outside leverage and typically he'll get over the top of that blue zone. As you can see right there, that's a 25 yard cloud flat. If you want to stop that, you're going to have to shift to like a 30 yard. The problem with the 30 yard cloud flat is a 30 yard cloud flat is not going to do, um, not going to do what the defense needs it to do because you're basically going to be able to essentially throw, you know, underneath it. And you'll see, so again here, same combination. If you just watch, you're going to, again, you're just passing it over the top of that zone. Very smooth and very simple. So you've got a play that really does a good job against this 25 yard uh, coverage. Now real quick, I wanna show you one other version of the Mabel coverage. This is something that you're seeing less and less of the more people realize it's just not the way you wanna run this. So um, basically the, the, I put the linebackers on flats and I put the, which are 25 yard depth. And then I put the other uh, guys on the purple zones, which are the underneath zone. And you're gonna see it's just gonna make it even worse. You're gonna see you're gonna have a ton of room to be able to hit this corner route. Now, one other defense I wanna just kind of touch on, um, I guess two other defenses really quickly. Um, the first one is the cover four. So um, cover four is actually becoming very popular. And again, it's the same basic principle. Because we're moving this, uh, because we're moving this corner back, you're gonna have everything on the right that you had. But because we're having this natural movement and he's coming inside based on the alignment, you're gonna have this wide open corner route every single time against cover four. The one defense that I would say is like a defense that you might wanna watch out for a little bit is a potential of a Tampa two. Now let me just show you how this works. Tampa two with these 25 yard flats, because we're kind of compressing everything down, you're gonna see that I can get it over, but it's a, it's a really tight window. If I'm facing cover two, most of the time, um, and what you're going to see me do if I'm facing cover two is it typically means that they're going to have something like this right here. So they're going to be using this guy and maybe they're doing something like this, right? This little defense right here. Um, it's just really hard in my opinion. Like it's going to basically look something like to this effect, right? You've got a Mabel coverage on both sides. And then as you see here, you've got this, you know, kind of user in the middle of the field. Well, the reason why this is significant is because, again, if you think through this motion, again, we talk about the rules of this passing concept. If you see drift, you throw right there, easy read, a little check down. One last thing I want to talk about, this really is very specific to this Tampa 2 style of defenses, 
especially if they're turning this into a Mabel coverage. It's really important that you understand this concept. So this is like the last little bit of it. But as you're running this play, obviously you have your tight end route early. But the other thing that you have is this curl route. When you put this curl route on the numbers like this, the zones just don't cover it. As you can see, if you snap it right on the numbers, you're going to have really, really smooth and simple separation. So that is how you run the doubles in sale, at least the way that I like to run it out of the trip side in right now. I think it's one of the best passing concepts in the entire game because it incorporates the power of the, not only the table route, but also incorporates the power of that little smart route and corner route and the power of the trips tight end spacing where it's very difficult for an opponent um, to be able to defend everything that this offense has to offer. So thanks for watching. And if you want to get my entire trips tight end offensive guide, you can get that in the description of this video for just 10 bucks. It's in my opinion, it's one of the best, if not the best offense in Madden 21, especially at this point in the season.